Hold on. I cannot queue up to it. It's only playing the audio, but it... <laughs> it sounds like that other song. Oh, yeah, it does. But anyway, so then we're walking and climbing, and uh, Bruno's totally kicking ass, too. We took Bruno. Did we mention that? No. No, you didn't. Bruno is Bruno. the reason why we got away from the cops. What? Away with the cops. What? That's what Noah would like to believe. <laughs> Noah was playing this while we were hiking, by the way. At the beginning of our trip. Do you have speakers in your bag? She has an iPhone. iPhone. Oh, nice. Hold on, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you listen to this on your own? Like, yes, yeah, she had this on her phone. Hold on, here it yeah, comes. Yeah, what's with that wizard? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. Please stumbled upon us of weed. Here it comes, any second. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What me and Sid listen to. <laughs> that rhymed with what I was doing. That was good. Yeah, so we're hiking, we're hiking. And then, like, you know, five hours in, six hours in, I don't know. We, you know, deep into the hike, we're like, all right, we need to get, out, get the fuck out of here. Who How is this? Get, really? Falconer. Oh, I'm sorry. The band. The song is called Mountain Men. <laughs> and we were mountain men on Sunday. We were mountain men. <laughs> and dog. Uh, I'm glad that Frank told me that, oh yeah, we'll totally be back by five in the afternoon. <laughs> Where'd you guys well, we were, at midnight? We, we were gonna oh, wait, leave we were gonna leave uh, we're much gonna earlier story. because because of your your date. Yes. We had Which to I had to cancel on that for a couple of Oh, so work. then see it, it was Everyone matter, got anyway. fucked. Uh, wait a minute, but, uh, we didn't finish our story. Yeah, hold on. So it's so we're like we found this one trail. We were on this one trail, we went to this other trail, then we found this other trail that would technically lead to the road and we're like, fuck it, we'll just walk along the road to the parking lot. Do you have a map? Uh, yes, yeah, but it was, like but a, it really was a very shitty, inaccurate Yeah. Map. So we take this route and we're like, alright, we're almost there, we're almost there. And it's good because it's getting really dark. It's like right around sunset. And then we just hit a side of a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> where we saw the road. We saw the road, but we were like 200 feet in the air. Yeah. So we kind of... We, and it was weird because, like, you know, there there are markers, uh, like, you know, every few feet to let you know that you're still on the trail. And then we just ran out of markers. There was, like, no way to go other than, like, climb this this cliff. So we're like, all right, what the fuck do we do now? Yeah, at first we started climbing down the cliff, and then it got to a point where it was like, okay, we're definitely going to fall. Yeah. So we have to stop. Right. And it was already um, 7 o'clock at this point, and sunset was like at 7.20. Yeah. So then what happens? Noah freaks out. She calls her dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then he My suggests dad has, to her... He's, he's good at... Um, did he get the Israeli army to come? Uh, yeah. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> but no, he he gave her some really good advice, which we would have not gotten otherwise, which was so you call nine one one, which was like crazy advice. We, I don't know how we didn't think of it, but uh, because we didn't want anything to do with cops that day <laughs> after what happened to us in the morning. Did <laughs> cops show up? No, <laughs> no, no. Fucking guys. Anyway, eventually we called a park ranger. I was going to say I should have called 420. Was <laughs> no, we called the Mountie. They would have came with more We weed. called the Mountain Men. <laughs> and uh, the park ranger was like, all right, well, we're going to have to do the hike. We're going to have to drive over there and do the hike. And, and try to find you. Find you guys. And uh, <laughs> it was ridiculous. So then we were like, well, we're fucked. <laughs> it's going to be a few hours. So then we walked back off the cliff. <laughs> away from the edge. Away yeah. from the edge. I was say. <laughs> uh, and we, like, found this little area. And then we all started to make a fire. Uh, Frank and I started collecting wood and stuff. Wow. And uh, Frank Frank used his Boy Scout skills <laughs> and our lighters <laughs> from our, our pipes, which were taken away from us. Frank's very resourceful. To start fire. And then, like, the whole thing was just... it almost turned into a game of trying to find more sticks uh -huh. to keep the fire going because that was the only entertainment that we had at this point. <laughs> yeah. It was dark as fuck. There weren't even any stars because it was a cloudy night. Yeah. And we were basically trapped 
Wow. On the side of a mountain for three hours. So how did this happen? Like Happen? Yeah. You know, if you're taking the trail that you're supposed to be on, right. it just stopped? Well, as we said, the map was very inaccurate. And but, I mean, did the trail just stop? Well, the no, trail no, no. called for you to climb down a cliff. Yeah. And it was, like, very narrow. And you we needed like, climbing gear. Yeah, like, all right, we can't do this. And it didn't really specify that on the map. It just it was it, just a flat line. There's no, like, depth <laughs> sure, sure. on the map. It was a 2D map. Okay. Anyway, so then the guy that was supposed to rescue us, who we were on the phone with, he went the wrong way. <laughs> and he went, like, a half hour in the wrong direction. And he was like, look, uh, it's, it might start raining soon. And if it starts raining, we're not going to do the hike. You might, uh, you might have to be spending the night. And we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> we do not want to do this. Yeah, he, he also asked us to, like, start walking back on the trail so we're like okay so you know like we started walking and once we hit the area where the woods started it was just pitch black and we're like okay let's go back <laughs> yeah we there was no way to find trail markers at that wow. point so we could have just went off trail and been even, even more, more lost. lost yeah and uh then he finally found us and he had flashlights, which we didn't bring because we assumed that <laughs> we would have been, been back far by five. Gone. <laughs> yeah, we would have been gone by then. Yeah. And that was actually the main reason that we that we didn't like try to walk back any further, just because we just could not see anything. We were using our iPhones as flashlights. That's like when we went to uh, Sounds of the Underground. We had to walk like nine miles in the dark down a highway. Little, um, little. Except <laughs> you didn't feel like you would fall off a cliff. Yeah, True. exactly. <laughs> it was a straight line, pretty much, and mm -hmm. you knew where you were going. But then once the park rangers came, it actually became really fun. It was fucking amazing. It became like a video game. I got to wear a flashlight on my head. Wow, that's true. <laughs> like a helmet with a miner's helmet? Either? Yeah, it was just like a, a band with like a light on it. <laughs> yeah, like for splunking. I was like a miner. <laughs> uh, and it was great. It was like a video game in the dark. And like the trail that we took back was actually a really fun trail of like hopping. Yeah. Jumping down. It was like all downhill. My legs are still aching. Yeah. I couldn't bend my knee the next day. <laughs> I'm, gl that. I'm glad there's a happy ending, but I, I should point out that every time you do one of these like nature-related things, it's always like misery. The next time I see mm -hmm. you, it's like, oh, this happened. What, what, what was it? What was another? The desert one. Well, the desert one was sick complaining. That's true. It was more sick than you. <laughs> I was into it. Yeah. Yeah, All right, take it back. We have yeah. a couple of callers. Oh, we have some Perhaps callers. Perhaps they want to comment. Mm. Oh, hello. Take the 646 first. You want to give the number out just in case? 646. Our number is 646 929 1357. 646, you're on the air. Hey, is this, is this me? This yes. is you. Yeah. Who are you? What's your name? Hey, it's Frank. Frank. Yeah. Who's. Wait, Frank who? Frank Frank? <laughs> Yeah, Frank Frank. Oh, it's Frank. <laughs> Hello, Frank. How are you? <laughs> Frank from the story. <laughs> oh, yeah. the story? Yeah. <laughs> well, the Boys reason Frank. I'm calling, actually... Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the reason I'm, I'm calling, actually, I just wanted to kind of clear up uh, the whole pulling of the, uh, you know, pulling over thing. Um, w the reason is, actually, that he took me out of the car is because uh, Sid mentioned that... Uh, I had my car broken into, and I didn't have my insurance or registration card on me uh, in the car. Uh, so that's immediately why he pulled me out of the car and started questioning me. Uh, and then he was like, all right, you have no registration, no insurance, do you have outstanding tickets, any kind of bullshit like that. And I actually do have uh, some court appearances I have to make. And in combination of everything like, yeah. going on, he's like, well, I have reason to believe that you're hiding something from me, so I'm going to search Jeez. the car, and we can take this the easy way or the hard way. You can tell me what you have in the car now, and there's a chance that your car won't be impounded, or I'm going to be able to find something regardless, and, you know, there's going to be consequences. So. By the way, Frank, uh, Mongoose Commander in the chat wants to know if this is your one phone call from jail. <laughs> <laughs> Did the dude ever uh, tell it you? It could have been, but uh, I'm so this glad. This is the first time hearing this part. And actually, story. I was commenting on that later on, too, that I don't actually know anybody's phone number aside from my own. So even if I did have one phone call from jail, I wouldn't even know what yourself. to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> you would just yeah, call yourself and change your voicemail yeah. message <laughs> to say, Help, I'm in jail! Somebody go get me! <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Hey, pal, um, self, I'm in jail right <laughs> But wait, did the guy ever tell you why he pulled you over in the first place besides just looking suspicious? No, not at all. Uh, but like, I, when I, like I said, when I, when I told my sister the story, uh, she just said that, you know, they, they pull people over at random if for whatever fucking reason, you know, I, I have no idea, maybe because I have 